Good daytime, folks! My name is Max, and I'm glad to welcome you on my The Famous Room channel. Today I'd like to discuss with you another couple from the 90 Day Fiancé, specifically the situation in which one participant is in danger of deportation. As we all know, 90 Day Fiancé begins with two couples from different parts of the world trying to make a life together in the United States. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work out. When a breakup occurs, we usually hear about the immigrant in the cast facing deportation. It's not often that we hear about this when a couple gets married, but that's exactly what's happening with Julia Trupkina and Brandon Gibbs. Julia is facing deportation, and thanks to her social media, we recently learned why. Following the last episode of 90 Day Fiancé, where we learn more about Brandon's parents' future on the farm, Julia revealed that she's having trouble with her green card. The Russian immigrant explained what was going on and why her green card could lead to deportation. Questions about my green card? Yes, it expires. We were supposed to apply six months in advance, but we didn't use it since we don't have more than one document where my name is indicated. Buying a house, renting a house, loans… The situation threatens deportation, but we're trying to do everything. Unfortunately, it looks like Julia and Brendan failed to reapply for Julia's green card, and now she's facing deportation from the US. If she fails to submit the appropriate paperwork, there is a possibility that she will have to return to Russia. Julia noted in a later update that she and Brendan were successful in getting a loan to buy a house, which would at least give her one document with her name on it. If they get the house soon, hopefully that will be all the paperwork needed to renew her green card. We know that the process of staying in the US is difficult for people from other countries, although we rarely see married couples encounter these difficulties. There are many cases where a couple ends their marriage and it jeopardizes one's status in the US. Natalie Mardovtseva faced just such difficulties when she broke up with Mike Youngquist, as did Larissa Santos Lima when her marriage with Carl Johnson ended. Larissa is still in the United States, though, despite this, despite her past arrests and other threats of deportation. If Larissa manages to stay in the US, perhaps Julia will be lucky enough to fix her green card situation and stay with Brendan. Julia's GC situation is the latest story about the 90 Days of Being Groomed contestant, which surfaced shortly after she gave a rather controversial answer to us all. You and I wonder why she and Brandon are not part of the cast of 90 Days of Being Groomed happily ever after season 7. Julia said she believes she was not invited to participate because of her Russian background and the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. However, Brandon and Julia recently appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. Soon we'll see if Julia can resolve her green card issues and appear in future spin-offs. Guys, thank you for checking in. See that subscribe button? Could you please press it? Thank you, thank you, you're so kind. See you in the next video.